Oh, ja! Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back from Japan. I forgot my mustache over there. Clearly, I left it somewhere. Actually, I didn't leave it somewhere. I shaved it and I hid it. I have it. I put it in a card sleeve with a card and I hid it somewhere. And I have the geolocation of that tagged on another card. I'm planning eventually to hold a tournament to win my mustache. So good luck. Uh, stay tuned for that. I have no idea when that's going to happen, maybe in 2050 or something like that, but we'll get there. Anyway, I'm so sorry I haven't been posting videos. I've been on the most crazy adventure of my life. I just got back this weekend and I'm going to do a video series recapping my whole adventure while we strip them. I have a couple boxes of OP01 left. I'm very excited to strip them. I'm hoping that in this next box that I open, if I can get a alternate art Luffy leader it would be rad because I'm planning on playing red green Luffy this weekend at Treasure Cup. I'm going to Treasure Cup. Well, I'm probably this video should be posting on Thursday because I didn't post a video of this Wednesday because I've just been catching up with everything, but I'll get back on my Wednesday posting schedule. I'm going to be on a plane to California today, tonight, and then uh, I'll be at Treasure Cup this weekend, Miami the following weekend, and then I have a couple weekends to just like chill and work. <laughs> I've been developing a lot of stuff. I have a new website coming up soon, kaizokucards.com, that you're gonna be able to buy some really, really, really cool cards on. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to launch that next week on Tuesday or Wednesday is the plan. So you can get Valentine's Day cards for your loved ones in time. That's our that's our goal. Anyway, uh, I don't wanna waste too much more time. This is just the regular weekly strip em story time. So if you wanna hear these stories, tune in. If it's your first time here and you like seeing One Piece cards get opened among other cards, mostly One Piece these days, but hearing crazy stories, smash that subscription button. It would be really cool if you did. And if you're a returning member, thanks for waiting. Sorry for the delay and let's get into these strip -ems. All right, so I got four boxes left in this case. I think that's just about gonna take us through this story. So how do I start this story off? Well, the last time I went to Tokyo, I started playing music at like bars and clubs. I met some really cool people. I made a bunch of really good friends and I was messaging with them. And um, there's a bigger project that I've been working on. Again, still, I can't talk about it. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever be able to talk about it, but there will come a point in time where if you subscribe to my channel and you're paying attention to what's going on, you'll be like, oh, <laughs> that's what he was doing. Yeah, it'll become obvious, but I can't talk about it. So sorry, I was hoping that I could. Um, now I s arranged with a bunch of my friends to play at like bars and clubs and stuff while I was there. So pretty much every night, bless them. I was uh, spinning music at like a bar or a club. I brought a ton of cards with me and just gave cards out and made friends left and right. It was super fun. I made so many friends. Um, I have so many more friends than I had before. I'm connected with all of them on Instagram, but there's this one guy who I think he's gonna be the highlight of today's story. His name is DJ Oh My Marshmallow. Now, I met this guy the last time I was there, and he is like one of the most interesting characters. Oh, Luffy Dawn. Uh, one of the most interesting characters I've ever met. He is just totally in his own world. So when I met him, he, you know, commented that he liked my outfit and, um, you know, I told him I really liked his outfit. He had a really cool outfit also. And, uh, I, um, started chatting with him and, you know, I made him a card and we connected and we touched base here and there and I was watching his story and I posted some stuff to my story and I have to admit, okay, so like though, his style is very far from my style and I didn't really expect us to be friends honestly because it was just our styles were so different but ugh, always Kaido always gets me I really did think you know um, it was very unique and I respected him for the amount of work that he put into curating his look um, he totally looks like a pirate that walked off of like a one piece pirate ship um, and so we connected and I um, got his info. I had been posting some stuff on my story. And when I got back from my last trip, my um, assistant at my dental office was a big fan of Oh My Marshmallow. And I realized, okay, like if I'm gonna get some swag from this guy, from her, like maybe I'll talk to him a little bit more. So I started reaching out, we started chatting a little more. 
And the more that we talked, the more I realized like, wow, this guy is, this guy's like very interesting. <laughs> He's really, really interesting. So, you know, I told him, I was like, oh, I hope next time I'm out there, we can hang out more. And we ended up hanging out like pretty much every day. He actually was the one that lined up the majority of like the nights that I played at, um, you know, places to spin some music. He was the one that really coordinated it. Um, so I made him like this card that was basically like, if you know, you know, I've been making cards. I made him like a, a card. He has these very handsome AI pictures of himself that he gets made, but I made him this card and he loved the card. And I realized that actually I should make cards for all of my friends that were DJs. So all my homies that were DJs, I made them all cards. I brought them out. I put their, uh, Instagram on like the NFC chips and the cards and stuff. And they love them. And I, and I was hanging out with one of my friends and she kind of mentioned, she was like, yeah, these are kind of like, you know, idol cards and idols in Japan are a lot like DJs in Japan where it's true. I, you know, one of the things that I noticed about the culture there is with DJs, they invite you as their guest and then they like hang out and drink with you and, and socialize with you. It's, it's not like that with, um, with artists in the U.S. You know, in, in the U.S. you go to a bar, you go to a club or whatever, and you're going to see an artist and then you see them for a minute and then they go backstage and then, you know, you don't interact with them there. It's like part of the culture is interacting. So the, um, the idol culture is something that exists in the Japanese DJ culture and there's no idol cards or there's no DJ cards, but there's a ton of these idol cards. So I felt like, Oh, this is like untapped market. I should explore this. So this is kind of this new project I'm working on is making Japanese DJ cards. And they're pretty cool. I've been making some pretty cool stuff. I've been connecting with some pretty cool artists. Um, and I'm pretty excited about where that's going to go. Hopefully some of those will be available. But in the meantime, I have a bunch of really cool Zoro, Juro, Arigato, so much. Uh, I have a bunch of really great cards of me that are going up on my website. And there's a whole codex of how you can get a bunch of my other Saiho. But you're going to have to pay attention. Make sure to subscribe to the, or follow the Instagram or whatever and turn on story notifications and we're gonna explain everything about how the whole system works. Anyway, so <laughs> I was hanging out a lot with this marshmallow man and he's like created his own, oh yes, I needed this. Yatta, thank you, gozaimasu. I think it's just gonna be a secret in this after this. Yes, I need this for my deck actually. I was missing one alt art law, so that's, Great, that's actually better than Luffy because I have one Luffy leader. I just wanted to pull one so I have a clean one forever. So he adds marsh at the end of all like the Japanese words that have mas. Like instead of saying itadaki mas, he'd say itadaki mashu <laughs> or like ohayo gozaimashu. And it's like he's just created like this whole language and it's really amazing. I, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll talk more about him in a couple more of the stories because this is a this is this is going to be a, you know four four part series telling the story of my last Japan voyage adventure um so uh one day he was like yo we should go to this stadium where they're having this big j-pop thing and uh do some self-promotion and i was like doc my whole life is self-promotion but if i get to put on a funny jacket with you and hang out for a couple hours like i'm in say no more yeah it's a good box um so we put on these jackets went and hung out and we were in um we were at this stadium, and this is going to be a secret, probably. This, or actually, no, the Blessing. It's going to be this or the Blessing. Is it this one? Is it... Oh, yatta! Yo, this is the box! That's exactly what I needed! Wow, the two cards, the only two cards I needed for my deck. Hoo! Yosh! And this is going to be a secret. This is how you pull a, this is how you pull a secret rare right out of the pack. It's going to be a Yamato. Yamato no oh yeah no secret rare in the box of Baltar. just still yes yeah <laughs> it's the first loopy that i pulled and my final law for my playset. anyway we go and we meet these people they were like taking pictures of us i was like let's just stand here and pretend like we have something to talk about that's important so we're standing there talking about something and we go over and talk to them they were all excited we were taking pictures of them and like signing stuff and they asked him they're like are you japanese and he was like um i'm somewhere between a marshmallow and a prince that changed my life hearing that. Anyway, I'm gonna get to more of this story. I'm a dentist, I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, make sure to brush twice a day. A lot of people don't do it. They think they shouldn't brush in the morning because it doesn't matter, but it does matter because you have a thin layer of bacteria on your teeth that acts as scaffolding for stuff to stick on it throughout the day. And you really just need a quick brush, just get it off of there. That sets you up to have a healthier mouth throughout the course of the day and then brush at night, of course, before you go to bed. Flocks and good too. Thank you. Sang kyu gozaimasu. And I'll continue the story soon.
No, what time is it? Well, no, I don't know. So, it's time to uh, try roast marshmallow. Roast no. marshmallow. Look at this. We don't want right. burnt marshmallows. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, let's swim. Every <laughs> marshmallow. <laughs> Every marshmallow. Oh, every marshmallow. Every marshmallow. Every every marshmallow. Every and marshmallow. Tasuke de. Tasuke de. Tasuke de marshmallow. Tasuke. Hot. 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 It's time to eat a daki mashu. Daki mashu. Wow. Sugoi. Sugoi. Umaku. Ma. Mashu. Wow. Umaku.